Dude, I think I gotta stop impulse buying stuff the forum sends me. That's probably a good idea. I mean, on the one hand, who could resist the idea of doubling their environmental chamber testing capacity for such a low price? On the other hand, oh my God, it's huge. Did you guys know it was this big? Roughly. I knew it wouldn't fit under the fume hood we have. We'll see if it fits inside. Oh, well, this is gonna go well. That's as close as they can get. How are we supposed to move it once it's off the... Like, can our forklift move it? No, no. not even close. I see. How, how are we moving it? So that's a wonderful question, Linus. We're thinking maybe we drop it in the parking lot and then rent a forklift. MSI, the second generation of their Codex R2 AI pre-built PCs come loaded up with some of the latest and greatest components, like RTX 5070 GPUs and Core Ultra 7 CPUs. Get a ready-to-go rig today using our link in the description. I sincerely hope we didn't just buy someone else's garbage. It's apparently been stored outside for almost 10 years. The driver thinks it'll work on our little car dollies we have. They're good for about a ton and a half each. So he's gonna try to kind of back up, wiggle it into the doorway, and then we'll plant it onto those dollies and kind of hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna get it off the dollies? That's future problem. We could probably test our existing environmental chamber inside of this one. I was thinking it didn't look that big. And I was thinking, hey, I mean, a low ball bid can't hurt, right? We only paid 1300 bucks for it, I think? Something like that. So bottom line, we're paying a 10th of what we paid for our existing environmental chamber, even including the delivery. But we haven't fixed it up yet. Here's the issue. While the seller does believe it to be in working order, it certainly isn't in working order right now. All of the refrigerant was drained years ago and replaced with an inert gas, and it has been stored idle for almost a decade outside. We use our current environmental chamber for testing products that are sensitive to changes in temperature or humidity, like power supplies or anything with a battery, as well as to conduct wacky science fair experiments. It's been great. The only issue is that sometimes it's a little bit on the small side, and since we only have one, it can be a bit of a production and testing bottleneck. <laughs> I really don't know if that was the solution though. This is the plan? That's the plan. That's our best plan. Were we able to find an MSRP on this? Not so far. Uh, the company's been sold two or three times, and so we only have a generic service manual. Oh no, well really? Yeah. Do we know what year it's from? Uh, 2008, I think. Good year. Yeah. Solid year. Do we have a plan for when this is up and running, or are we assuming nothing for now? I was kind of assuming nothing. I wasn't like planning any projects for next month. I think month the, the plan is Linus bought this thing, now what? It's amazing how many things have that plan around here. You know, some of them work out. That TV wall, phenomenal. Right? Phenomenal. This, maybe. We'll I'm see. one for something. <laughs> what did we pay for the other one? I think that one was somewhere between thirty dollars and $40,000. Okay. So we would have to spend an awful lot refurbing this thing before we would be behind the eight ball on it. Do you know how much the gas costs? No. Oh, is the gas really expensive? One of the gases we have to buy is $4,000. Shut up. We have to buy a whole cylinder. And that's just the gas, not their time to fill it. Why do we have to buy a whole cylinder? I don't know, that's an Alex question. Because that's all, that's the lowest amount they'll sell it in. The techs have the, the easier to get gas, but they don't have this one. This one they have to get from a spe like a specialty supplier and the supplier will only sell it in full tanks. Oh, uh, okay, but we could sell the partial tank after. Uh, maybe, unless we use it all. I think the tank's five kilograms. So we might need more than one tank. We might, hopefully not. The, the other one is 15 pounds worth of refrigerant. That one? No, 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 no. Oh. This is two stage, so it has- It's two stage? Yeah, it's got, it's got two different refrigerants in it. Okay, I knew absolutely nothing about it other than seems like a cheap environmental chamber. So does it go like lower in temperature? I think it's negative 177 Celsius. Shut up. Really? I think. What? <laughs> it's not gonna fit under here. No, it really isn't. I mean, no, it really isn't. Does it do humidity control as well? Do you know? It must. It takes plumbing as well, so okay. like water. So it must do. Okay, oh yeah, you cool. gotta pay for a plumber too. Could like I get inside it? Oh, definitely, I imagine, yeah. What about you? Uh, I couldn't stand it, but I could probably fit in there. The size is one standing Linus or one folded Lucas. Oh my god. So that display interface on the side is cooked, hey? I haven't really looked. You know, do you really need to stand on a curb next to me? 
I'll take a knee. It's bad enough as it is. <laughs> this may be the point where I start questioning the choice. I mean, at the price, it seems so obvious, but clearly nobody else bid above us. <laughs> yeah, I said don't bid more than it's worth in scrap metal, so. <laughs> okay, nobody told me that. They weren't kidding. That was the plan. How much you want to bet that display doesn't work? Oh yeah, there's no way. How are we going to get replacement parts? That's a you problem, isn't it? No. Damn. I think he's going to lift this just the end up and scoot it in. Oh, we got a forklift here now. Oh. Those, the pallet's like two by six. I, was, I, I, I just noticed the pallet's made of two by sixes, I think. And they're just shredding. Just. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So it seems what they're trying to do is lift her up a little bit with the forklift to take enough strain off of those little rollers that we can get it over the lip. I don't know if it's gonna work. There we go. Oh, it worked. Oh, okay. Putting the cables up against the thing in front of the bay door was a strategic choice. I thought it was an accident before. I feel like we may have been better off with the rollers in the middle two four by fours. Maybe I should say something before we completely unstrap it. Right now, the pallet is bowing yeah. in the middle. Would we be better off taking the rollers and putting them on the middle four by fours? Uh, I mean, maybe. Well, I just mean, if the whole idea is that these rollers are gonna lift the thing, Yeah then we might as well put them in a position where- I agree, I agree. They're not gonna yeah, cause we're gonna be have dragging. To, yeah, we're gonna have to run to forklift to get this thing off anyway. Cause I just think it might roll a lot easier cause we'll have the mass over the rollers. Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. Okay, cool. As long as the pallet survives being lifted one more time. Wait, 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 it's not in the right spot over there. That way. It turns out supervising is a job. Yeah, I think now the pallet is more off yeah, the, it's off the ground now. It was, yeah, I was getting hung up in the middle there. And that's it. We're kind of dragging. Oh, Alex, I think this bent. Like, I just don't think it has the weight anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the car dolly totally just bent. Yeah, that's why. I mean, should we, should we look at it? Oh, that's a satisfying handle, hey? <laughs> It's like a Freaking bank vault. <laughs> I like the, the two-man lift logo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two-man lift. <laughs> this panel. Yeah. Ah. So here's our fans that blow through the evap, and then it comes out like this. This seems to be humidity control. They kind of look like sprinkler heads or something. Well, time for us to do some learning. I, I like that you cut reusable straps. Oh, what? <laughs> wow. Okay. So she's a little beefier than the old one. Oh my God, this is gonna be a hell of a project. Like all that plumbing for sure has to come out. Look at it. Look at the color of it, Lucas. You know, all things considered though, it's not that rusty. Oh, gross. Yeah, the plumbing has to come out for sure. Oi! Oh. Here's another access panel. Pressure gauge. I know what that is. Moisture release thing. Yes. Those are, I, I can't remember the name, but they, they are magnetic and they start and stop flow. Ah, uh, I appear to be tethered. No one leaped to my aid at once. Uh, you didn't ask for help. <laughs> okay, cool. Ah, you have got to be kidding me. Are these the compressors? Holy crap. The compressors themselves have cooling fans that ask for freaking 208 volt, 1.3 amp. The compressors have 250 watt cooling fans. Freaking what? Okay, there's gotta be a heat exchanger in here somewhere. Oh, fiberglass, yuck, okay. A little rusty, a little dusty. Condenser water inlet. Oh, the whole thing is liquid cooled. There's no con there's no like air cooled fan condenser. Like I don't I don't see one. So there's there's the water inlet. So the plumbing is not necessarily just for humidity control. It's for cooling. cooling. So we are gonna have to have like a cooling tower or something. Wait, do we still have? 
a bunch of those big radiators and those like server rack things? Yeah, we do. We do, yeah. I mean, we're gonna have to figure out what kind of capacity we need, but um, oh boy. This right here is my condenser for which one? Oh, uh, maybe it's, is it both? Broad strokes, I think I figured out the flow path. That back there is our first stage compressor. It's cooled by this <sighs> liquid cooled condenser that we're gonna have to have water hookups to this chamber in order to operate. That cools through this heat exchanger right here, the hot side of my second stage compressor, which is over there. That guy uses this giant, effectively, reservoir to store the gaseous refrigerant when the system isn't running. Wait! Huh. Whew. It's also when it is running. It's kind of complicated. The accumulator also plays a crucial role in preventing liquid from entering the compressor in the first place. You should just check out our recent video about the three-stage chiller if you want to learn more. All right. The cold side of that boy comes right up here and goes, da, 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 da. there we go, into the evaporator inside the chamber. So the operating range was what? Negative 77 to 170? She's not as fast as our existing chamber, but a big part of the reason for that is the internal volume has got to be six to eight X, the other one. So we could easily test like a large system in here. <laughs> if we can get it working. Boy, are there ever a lot of little parts that are, looking rusted shut. Feel free to tell me I'm wrong about any of this, you guys. I know just enough about the refrigeration cycle to be dangerous. You'll have to get a little taller. Both? <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic. Are these the motors for the internal fans? 575 volts, two amps. These are 1000 watt fan motors. About a horsepower and a half. <laughs> Each Zine arc. Oh, look at the size of those guys. Oh, there's a PC in here. There sure is. What are the flipping odds that that works? Windows Vista Business Edition. Found the keys to the city. You got a Dell. Dude! Same thing as the bottom though. There's far less corrosion in here than I expected. It must have been at least undercover outside. This seems like That's probably the way to do things. Oh my God, there's a lot to unpack here. Oh, Wait, like is that a RAM time, stick? Old-timey automation? the f is this? Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is another computer. What about second computer? Linus, you're in, uh, you're in the schematic here. I'm what? You're in the schematic. Oh, stop it. LS small. <laughs> Wait a second. Jordan, you hooked up the Dell? I did. I mean, dude, if you're gonna get a Dell, you gotta know if your Dell works, right? Exactly. So this looks like an old Celeron Vista business, and most of the interaction with the computer stuff here is all serial. Okay. Uh, standby LED is on. Yeah. That's a good sign. Well, that's not a good sign. Well, the light's solid now. Uh, oh, was it flashing before? I don't know. Who makes an orange power LED, though? There's no way. Oh, shit, this is BTX. Sorry. Okay, stupid question. Is that power button even hooked up? if it's meant to be turned on somehow else here? That is a not stupid question. For future us. Yeah. Very cool piece of equipment. I, uh, I'm glad we didn't pay full price for it in its current condition though. Cause there's no way that this is alive. I mean, it, wait, do, does it have a power plug? Ah! Sorry, Still sorry. Good. Still good. Ah, it's this. Ah. Okay, okay, here, let's power it. Oh, dude. No way. Dude. No way. The display works. Are you kidding me right now? Dude, she works. To be clear, I'm not worried that we would be able to find, you know, another display with similar inputs. I'm just worried that using something that's not part of the expected equipment for this thing could have unforeseen consequences. This is a relief for me because this is the interface. When you don't have an interface, you got nothing. At least we got a big nothing. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Documentation, apparently. I think I found that it uses two different uh, refrigerants, so that checks out. Okay, that makes it definitely a two-stage. But it's got, you know, up-to-date calibration or maintenance records from 2014. Actually seems like a pretty good manual. LN2 we'll cooling? What the, whoa, 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 whoa. They're saying if you want to additionally use uh, liquid nitrogen cooling, there's a vent, so you should vent. We can get the quantum computing in there. Yeah, there's a lot to learn, but this does not look like a generic manual. This looks like the proper manual for this chamber. For then. this one, yeah. That's actually very promising then, I guess. And it has some uh, some like schematics on the back for oh, some of the electrical and nice. stuff you can see. Dude, without this, we'd probably be SOL. Oh, we'd be so lost, yeah. We might still be lost, but. Cool. Got a lot to learn. And this is gonna be a huge project. In short, that we know of so far, we need to get some kind of external cooling tower we need to charge the refrigerant in both of the stages. 
we need to go through and inspect for any failed valves or sensors or other components. We need to replace the PC and also figure out what kind of control software they were using. And we need to find a place to put it and a way to move it. And we also have to tell you about our sponsor, Rocket Money. Can you name every subscription service that you're signed up for, like off the top of your head? Yeah. I didn't think so. But Rocket Money can. They will round up and show you all of your subscriptions in one place and even give you the power to cancel any that you don't need in just a few clicks. Rocket Money can also build you a personalized budget based on your spending habits, helping you grow your savings and lower your bills. And that's not all. Their agents can negotiate better rates on things like your phone or internet bill, all on your behalf. You can even automate your savings by letting Rocket Money transfer funds from your linked checking account into a non-interest bearing custodial account. Join over 5 million users then who are spending less and saving more by heading over to rocketmoney.com LTT. You can get started for free or unlock even more features with a premium plan. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for the rest of our adventure hopefully getting this thing into service. And if you want to check out another refrigeration video, why not check out the time that I bought the world's greatest CPU cooler? It's not just two stage, but it's a three stage cascade chiller that goes directly onto a CPU and brings it down to negative 100 Celsius. It's pretty cool. What do you think this is worth in scrap? Hopefully more than $1,300. <laughs>